Hi, Keshav here. Welcome. So as part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. In this video, let's continue again on RDD concepts. In previous video, I spoke about um, RDDs and what are the different ways to create RDDs also being covered. So with continuation to that video, so in this video, let's see what are the different operations being supported by RDD. So when you speak about RDD operations, generally RDDs will support two operations mainly. Those are actions and transformations. So when it comes to actions, um, before actions, let's speak about transformations. So transformations are nothing but the business logic that we're going to implement on RDD. So it's purely the business logic that we're going to implement on RDD. So every time when you apply any sort of transformation, there, there'll be new RDD produced. Uh, in previous video also, we spoke about RDD properties. Generally, RDDs are immutable. That means we can't update the RDD. Rather, we can create new RDD. So with the same property, whenever we are applying any sort of transformation on RDD, so that means we are modifying the RDD. Whenever we are modifying the RDD, so there'll be new RDD created. All right, so as I said, whenever we are applying any sort of transformation on RDD, every time there'll be new RDD produced. All right, and another thing, RDDs, I mean, RDD transformations are lazy operations. So what is mean by lazy operations? For example, you are doing some sort of transformations like on RDD, uh, you are doing transformation one, and then transformation two, and transformation three so whenever we perform any sort of transformations on rdd it won't perform immediately it will you know memorize all the transformation logic that you are trying to apply on rdd and that transformation logic will be executed when action uh, comes so um, until the action has been executed in rdd the other transformations will be memorized but not been executed okay those will be executed when there is an action uh, performed on the rdd all right so that way we can say that rdd transformations are lazy operations of course that feature will make rdd performance better all right so let's not speak about transformations um, here okay so what are actions whenever you operate any action on rdd there'll be output generated that the output will be written to the driver node. All right. So whenever we perform actions, there'll be output generated. Whenever we perform any transmissions, there'll be transmission logic applied, but every time there'll be new RDD generated. All right. So uh, this, this, that is something about actions and transmissions. So if you look at the actions, we have different types of actions we can perform on RDDs and mainly these are the um, few important actions uh, collect is one act then take first count reduce and save as text file all right in this video let's see uh, you know how do we use this on rdd so um, let's get started if i take you back to databricks community edition which i already connected so let me just import the required methods in here and um, this is the RDD which I created in previous video. Let me use the same RDD. RDD has been created with parallelize method. So now I'm going to use the first function that is collect. So collect is the action function. So which will which will give the output of our RDD. So uh, this is one of the operation. Um, I mean that for under actions that we can perform on rdd so whenever we call collect action collect function so there'll be output generated as like this all right so the next uh, function of action that is take so take function what exactly it does for example if you want to just you know uh, return only the few elements from this uh, rdd for example, I want to return only the four elements. So of course I can use take function and I can give the number here. Take and n. Take of 
n number what are the number that you are going to provide uh, those many number of elements will be written from rdd all right so in the same way if you use first this is another function and if i say first let's see what it returns it returns the first element from the rdd all right so what is the next function i'm going to use the count so count function what it returns it returns the number of elements within that rdd it returns the number of elements within the rdd all right so uh, the next function that lang2 action operation is reduce what exactly reduce will do generally reduce function it it accepts two arguments it reduces the elements by performing the uh, aggregation given all right for example i want to add all the elements so what i can do i can say that reduce and uh, if i use add operator let's see what it does exactly so it is adding all the elements of that rdd all right so these are the elements within that rdd it it's it's adding all the um you know um, elements it is reducing the elements from the rdd by adding them so what exactly it is doing it is reducing the elements from the rdd by performing the given aggregation for example i said add so it is adding by that way it is reducing the number of elements from rdd all right so we can write this in a different way we can even still use an anonymous function that is lambda function let me use lambda so i want x comma y two elements and those are like i want to perform this operation x plus y so let's see what exactly it returns all right it is giving same uh, the output as reduce add it is adding all the elements and given the output all right so uh, this is how we can use reduce uh, function and save as text file for example i want to write this rdd into a text file so then i can use the function that is save as text file so let me just go ahead and create new cell here so i'm gonna just say rdd dot save as text file i want to create a text file at this dbfs location i'm gonna just give the path now i'm gonna just say rdd underscore save file if I want to create CSV file, of course I can. Let me execute. Sorry, I, it has to be within single quotes. Let me execute. All right, uh, there is file being created. Let me just check with the DB utils. All right, so I could see all the files within that location. And here, if you go to that file name is rdd underscore save file all right there is file created yeah oh, whatever data was there in rdd that has been exported into this file all right so this is how we can perform actions uh, on rdd as i said actions always returns the output from the rdd okay the output will be given to the driver node all right so that is something about actions some important functions those we use in actions this is normal rdd um, if if you want to um, perform the actions on pair rdd there are different functions being used for pair rdd so we'll see in different video what are the functions being supported for pair rdd and after that we'll have a look into the transformations those belong to rdd all right so thanks for watching my video do subscribe for more videos from me we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you